Hi, I'm Sharon Kane. I'm the MD of Quest PR and it's a fabulous day here in Yorkshire. I hope you guys are enjoying some summer wherever you are. Before we start on some tips for vlogging, just a quick hi to some of our peers. Hi to John Buscall in Sweden. Also hi to Jeannie Dietrich in Chicago and to Jelena War in Colorado. Now before you start presenting your vlogs, what we'd advocate is doing is some breathing exercises so you're projecting yourselves really well and you can do various exercises such as or a little bit more high-pitched such as a and you probably want to do these in private I would imagine Next, check your background. There's some great background locations that you can take advantage of before you start filming. And also, check your background if you're in the office to make sure that there aren't any dirty cups scattered around uh, because it's all about the impressions that we're creating with, with our backgrounds. Before you start to present, check hair, check ties if you're a fella and check jewelry because there's nothing more distracting than hair sticking up all over the place or a tie that's askew or if it's a piece of jewellery if it's lopsided because what we'll do is we'll focus on the distractions instead of watching and hearing what fabulous things you've got to say. What do we do with our hands? A lot of our clients ask us that. Well if you're standing what we'd suggest is either put your hands beside your sides or by your sides even <laughs> or put them behind your back and try to avoid too many of what I call windmill gestures because again they're quite distracting however now and again a gesture that's quite emphatic can work really really well if you're presenting your vlogs and you're on your own then look directly into the camera and this is different from when you're doing a TV interview because when you're doing a TV interview you would look at the interviewer instead also to give your vlogs loads of energy inject them with passion and enthusiasm and enjoyment and finally smile because you might even enjoy yourself so stay tuned to the quest blog because over the next week or so we'll be giving you more tips on how to do a double header that's if there's two of you and also how to do an interview because you might want to interview your clients or your prospects or your employees so bye for now.